All right, the last thing we need to do is just create a, a delete marker method. That way we can delete markers from the map or from the database, I guess. All right. to pass in a new marker object uh, well or my marker object I think maybe my marker object yeah okay now we're gonna call db.delete sort of intuitive give it the table name first then the call uh, the where clause um, which is going to be the position. Normally you'd use ID, but we're going to use position instead. Where the position is equal to, make sure you use a single, single tick right here, just like that. And uh, m.get position. And the reason why I have to use a single tick is just because um, this is a string, so. We have to use that single tick and there's a closing and last thing make this null and that looks like it's uh, good to go now it's implemented and without having to go through a ton more tutorials we're just gonna make it so that um, whenever they click on the uh, the little balloon whenever you tap on it when they actually click on the balloon then it deletes it so I think it's called an info set oops set on there you go info window click listener okay now let's just do a data dot delete marker and we'll just create a new mark a new my marker object here and we can pass in all the correct values but you know we're only using the uh, the um, the position so I mean these technically don't need to mean anything in this case now this one is just going to be a uh, it's, it's a string but when you call marker dot get position it actually returns a latitude longitude object so we have to do dot latitude plus a space plus marker dot get position again and longitude and that should be it so let's go ahead and run this and make sure it works okay now let's go ahead and just delete this one right here in the middle. Okay, see it, it actually worked, but it's still in the map like on this it we have to call dot remove to actually remove it from the view of the map. So whenever we restart it, see it's actually gone. So to fix that, we just do oh, marker dot remove. Okay, go ahead and put put a put it back, uh, and test. Okay, and then we'll make sure we close it all the way down, and. Uh, Let's push this back to the device. Okay, there it is.
tap on it and then tap on the balloon and it actually removes it and there you go all right i will see you guys later and um I'll put out one more and that's just to clean up the code and you know we can actually move this stuff to the class like doing these so you're really not supposed to do this it's one of the object oriented uh, f design um, principles is don't repeat yourself so see we're call we're doing creating the string here uh, we created the string again here um let's see where else did we do it um and then we actually had to parse the longitude latitude uh object and turn it into a string um array but i mean technically you're not supposed to do that you should let the my marker object do this since it's it's actually part of the class should have been part of the class's job so I'll do that later. I'll talk to you guys later.